And she was like, what is this? I was like, you bought me this game. And she was like, well, I wouldn't have bought it if I knew. Yeah, you know, yeah, and they yeah, find yeah. out yeah. and the realization hits. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for joining me yeah, no on problem. the Citizen Game. Thanks for enjoying me, um, in, inviting me. We were mentioning before we started recording that we thought you weren't a gamer, but you have claimed that you used to be. Okay, do you know what? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to say I the, was the gamer. <laughs> like, I thought I was until I met gamers. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I never clocked a game. Like, I never clocked one. Um, I used to play games and that. And that was like a thing for us. But I wasn't like the proper... I thought I was until I met gamers, basically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what what are your top three games then that you've ever played? Um, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. That was one of my first ones that I played on the Se Sega Mega Drive. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, I never had one of them. My cousin had one of them. So I could only play that when I went to his house. Yeah. And I loved it. Um... Uh, Street Fighter and Tekken. Ah, oh, Tek. I used to love. It was Tekken three or four? Oh my god, Tekken three. Yeah. Tekken three. Was it on PlayStation to... one? Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I used to play. I used to. We used to batter that. And then like, then I tried to play games like Resident Evil, and it was like I was really. I was so intrigued by Resident Evil, but I just was never that good at it. But I kept, <laughs> I kept, got, like, kept giving it a go, but I just wasn't that good at it. Never got to clock it or anything like that. I loved Resident Evil. Yeah. I like those horror, yeah, yeah. like gruesome games. I used to love Silent Hill, which is sort of okay. like a similar thing. My mum walked in once, I was playing Silent Hill, because she used to buy me all these games, because I was like, oh, can I have the game? But yeah. she didn't actually know what they were about. So one day she walks in, she was like, what are you playing? I'm there like stabbing a zombie and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a dead pig. <laughs> and she's like, what is this? I was like, you bought me this game. And she was like, well, I wouldn't have bought it if I knew. Yeah, you know, when yeah, they yeah, find yeah, out yeah. and the realization hits Yeah, them. yeah, a hundred, a hundred. Uh, I've got a vivid memory actually of my mum beating me uh, on Street Fighter with her being Chung Lee and I just did That's not. That's the cheat code. Yeah, I did not, I did not take to that well at all. Like, I, I hated every moment of that. What are you talking about? My brethren come over to my yard and I beat them. That's what I do. And, and you play this you. game and you're Chung Lee and you beat me. Nah, you're not my mum now. <laughs> you're not my mum now. Chung Lee's the cheat code. When That's you mentioned Street Fighter, my go to was I'm going to be Chung Lee and I'll just kick you. Yeah, you're going to just do this. The, just the do spinning kick. bird kick. Yeah. Oh, I hated it, man. It's the cheat code. I hated code. it. But yeah, do you know what? My, I'd have to say. Um, honorable shout out to my cousin Elliot he'll probably watch this yeah he or oh, listen he was he was a street fighter guy he was the one he was the guy to beat mm -hmm. he was very very impressive on street fighter um, and I think playing him as much as I did probably raised my game when it came to playing everyone else yeah. which is one of the reasons why when my brothers were getting into playing FIFA and whatever I was never, you, you can't beat me. Mm. Because the way that I looked at it is, I'm gonna, I'm playing to win, yeah? And I'm gonna win however I'm gonna win. And you're gonna raise your game however you're gonna raise it. So that when you play your little brethren, your, your level's up. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? If I come down a level and then you're just beating me in that, then how do you get any better then? You're not gonna get any better. Cause then you're gonna play against your brethren and then some of them are just gonna beat you. But if I beat you convincingly a bunch of times, mm -hmm. you're gonna try to get better at that game, which means as you get better at the game, you'll be better than them. Yeah. And then the moment that they got, um, the moment that he got good at the game, I stopped playing him. Because he needs to move up to the next person. Yeah, well, I mean, like, look, I, I'm not like I'm not the greatest loser. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm not the I'm not the greatest loser, especially if you got chat. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I can lose. Like, say if me and you are playing a game, mm -hmm. right? and you beat me, I'm cool with the beating, providing that like you handle the win a certain way. Okay, so if someone wins, yeah, and they're really loud and nah, arrogant about it. I, I gotta find a game for me to beat you at. And then once I do that, <laughs> I'm giving you the same slice with extra seasoning. Yeah, I'm a bad loser as well. Cause I just accuse the other person of cheating. Oh, do like you? if I lose, it must. There's not a reason that I'm bad. Like it must be because <laughs> something has gone on. It's foul play. Yeah, it's like yeah. I'm not. I'm just not great at it. And like, um, 
I'm sure this will come up in conversation, but I was playing NBA 2K20 during lockdown. During lockdown, yeah. yeah. And I got addicted to it. Like, I absolutely love it. I remember you tweeting about it, actually. I remember you tweeting about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that literally, I got so addicted to the game that I had to start putting timers on how long I was playing it. (laughs) So, like, I would say, all right, cool, I'm going to play. I'm going to play between maybe 11 at night until maybe one in the morning. Maybe two. (laughs) Because if I, and and then after that, like, once we get close to that point, once we get to a certain game or whatever, then I would just stop. Or if I was playing with my friends or whatever, then I would just stop at a certain time. Prior to that, I would go in until five, six o'clock in the morning at times. Yeah, it was like that. But, so imagine, yeah, one time, obviously, you know, you play all of these games, yeah? Yeah. Right? And then you get, you win, like, the championship and then you play, like, for the NBA championship, yeah? So anyway, I've got to that bit and I'm like, well, like, I have to win, I couldn't have played all of these games and not... To not win. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, now, as I'm playing it, they are on smoke. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. So, hands up, I s- turned the game off. And mm. I started it again. You st- I think I remember you tweeting about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you do it a few times? I did it a couple you like, of, yeah. I get to the last bit and I can't win the NBA Yeah, part. yeah, yeah. It was like that. It was like... I turned it off enough because I knew from when I turned it off, I'd be starting that game again, not the whole thing, just that game. Come back again. And then I got so, when I told you, I was like, literally, what, fourth quarter, I might have been about, I might have been about four points behind. So, and I was getting there. (laughs) Just as I realised like, nah, this is not going to happen. I turned it off again. I thought, no, I'm winning this. I need to know what it is like. I can't play this amount of games to get here and lose. Yeah. Then, like, played for the third time and then they just smoked me so much. I just handled the smoking, innit? But that just made me determined to go through all of the games again for in the next season and then come back and win, which I did do. Did you do that? Okay, I that's good. That, yeah. Cause I played, I think that was a period cause it was free during lockdown. I remember mm. they made the game free so everyone downloaded it. Yeah. And I was, terrible at first i didn't know what was going on didn't know the controls and then something clicked and i was fine like i was getting good good results and then when 2k21 came around i didn't have time to do it as much and i regret it because i feel like now i've lost my my skill level i think you was one of the people that put me off getting that one actually i think i put quite a few people on because i remember flips as well no, you put me off getting I put it 2K, off. 2k21 and i think it was because i'm sure you said that there wasn't much yeah it was you Oh you no, said, what did I do? Sorry if you're going to lose a sponsorship here, by the way, but I have to say this, yeah? Els put me off getting 2K21, yeah? And the reason being is because you said that there wasn't much of the, um, the what was it? Like the game, you know when you're doing a character mode and whatever? Yeah. And you get to do all of these different things or whatnot, like you get to do the adverts, you get to go out oh, and do all of these story. things. The story yeah, wasn't yeah. as, like as a big thing. And I'm sure you mentioned that. And I was like, you know what? I loved the story. Like I loved it. I loved it. Of course it was the game, but I did love the story. I loved doing the adverts. I loved doing, uh, you know, like the conference, like just yeah. and, all the things that it had. I remember it changed that. with 2K20. That was the big, I remember the story. And I think LeBron James did the 2K21. I can't remember, 21, I can't remember. And then yeah, it did change a little bit, but I think it was to do with the PlayStation 5 coming out and they were waiting for the PS5 version. Right, okay. And then they built it up that way. Right. I do remember that though, So but I still played it. And I played, have you played the new one as well? No, so what's the story like on that? I haven't gone through the story because then I just skipped through. Okay, I wanna, it, yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at that still. But that, see, that was one of the things that really that's what really got me into that. Mm-hmm. And I think that was probably one of the reasons why I didn't really jump back into FIFA because when I was playing that and you had the story and all the of city, these things. The city, the neighborhood, loved it all. All of that, yeah, 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 literally all of that, yeah. When I'm saying to people, see with FIFA, I'm asking them like, is it the same thing? And they're like, nah. And I'm like, of course I want to play the game, of course, but like to add the extra excitement, the story sucks me in. Yeah. So that's why I never jumped back into FIFA so much like that. But the NBA, the NBA game, I loved, I loved it. That's like a good, a good memory for me, actually. Yeah, it's a good lockdown. Do you know what, as well, actually, it made me, that game actually made me appreciate watching the actual game even more. It helped me learn it. Absolutely, yeah. 
Because also it's like, I've been to bare basketball games before, like enough times when I've gone to the States and whatever, I've, whatever, I've gone to games or whatever. Mm -hmm. And from an ignorant perspective, as much as I've enjoyed it, essentially all I'm seeing is at that time, someone just running over and then just trying to um, just score. Yeah, of course that's the game. But then when I started to, when I was playing the game and I started learning these game plays and that, and I'm getting my man to run over here and I'm getting this one to block off that one. I'm like, oh wait, this is what happens in the, in real life. Yeah. So then when I started to learn these things, when I started to watch the game, I started to see it more, which then made me appreciate that. Do you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Definitely. So yeah, man, that was sick. It helped me learn about the positions as well. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously when you're doing the career, you pick your own position, position yeah, but then yeah. you have to learn the pros and cons to each position. Exactly. And things. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Yeah, yeah. It was sick.